breaking the wall of hydrogen storage. Dinga Wonanki, Falling Walls Lab, Marie Skodorska Curie, Actions. What if I tell you that the most suitable material for storing gases, for example, hydrogen gas to power hydrogen vehicles, should be in the form of your kitchen sponge? This is because your kitchen sponge is light. It has tiny little holes known as pores and also flexible. Therefore, you can fill in the tank of your gas by letting the gases to diffuse and remain trapped into these tiny little pores and release by simple squeezing. But unfortunately, if I blow air into this sponge, everything goes out. And that is because this sponge is not suitable for storing gases. However, the one class of material that are more suitable for storing gases are known as metal organic frameworks, which are porous crystalline materials made from combining metals and non-metals. The reason why these materials are more suitable for storing gases is because you can easily tune the chemistry of their pores to selectively absorb specific gases. Another reason is because they have a very large accessible surface area with an average of 2,000 meters squared per gram. This means that the amount of gas that you can store in one gram of this material is more than half the size of a football pitch. But although more than 120,000 of these materials have so far been synthesized, only less than 5% are known to be flexible. And unfortunately, none of these flexible materials are sponge-like enough such that you can store gases with an ability to squeeze them out. It is for this reason that in my research, I'm designing a machine learning model that for the very first time can be used to predict the set of conditions that are required to make new sponges which we can use in storing gases. I'm doing this by analyzing the internal motion and mechanical properties of these materials and mapping them to all their synthetic conditions. The success of my research will not only help us to make new sponges which we can use to store gases like hydrogen, but will also help us to be able to make new sponges that can directly capture greenhouse gases as well as other environmental pollutants from the atmosphere. This is going to be a massive breakthrough in the fight against global warming and environmental pollution. Thank you. <laughs>